Before getting into the video, I want to make it clear that this is not intended to be a video of me just sitting here complaining. These are changes that I genuinely feel will improve the game for all players, and not just because I'm lazy or finding it difficult to keep up. The Crater, the location of all multiplayer in LDOE. This was added to the game in July 2020, however at the time I thought it was rather pointless and I never bothered with it. It wasn't until a week or so before the PvP update that I started spending the majority of my time in LDOE there, rather than in the single player side. In the weeks since, I've levelled up my shop from 30 to almost 80, and grown a clan of active members that I enjoy playing with in a way that before now was not possible in the game. In this time, I've grown to both love and hate the crater and its mechanics, which is the purpose of today's video. I have assembled a list of changes I would love to see implemented to the crater, which in my opinion would greatly improve it. There will also be a second video dedicated entirely to the PvP aspect of the game. This was going to be included in the same video, however it ended up being too long and needed to be split in two. My biggest peeve in this game is not being able to return to locations reached by the chopper, such as Crossroads and the Devourer if you die, and even if your party are still in the zone. This makes no sense to me since we can return to the normal farming zones and even in PvP if you die you have the option to go back. The way they have it set up at the moment only serves to punish players that are still learning how to do these events and unfortunately mechanics that punish players for no other reason than Kefir not playing their own game and having no idea what the players need and want is going to be a recurring theme for these two videos. My next change is a simple, easy, quality of life change that would take very little work to implement, and it's this. Add a sort button to the storage in the crater. I shouldn't spend more time organising my items than I do procuring them. My third change here was going to be to change the pricing for the items in district shops back to what they were. This has been done slightly, however the damage is already done, as not all items were returned to their original limits. To give one item as an example, the average price for a halberd has gone up by 14,000 coupons since this change. Now, don't get me wrong, I have no issue with general price increases, but without any changes to income allowing you to earn more coupons for the same amount of effort, it is completely unbalanced and has left newer players stuck with little to no ability to advance, unless they find themselves in an already established clan, or of course, coupons. This leads nicely into my next improvement, which is to increase the amount of coupons gained from killing zombies and from tournaments. Since everything now is more expensive, I cannot understand why the income for players has not been increased as well. Now if you win a gold tournament, you'll be lucky to afford a single halberd, which will likely replace the one you just used to win said tournament. One of the features in the game that just annoys me and many other players is tax. It turns out you can leave it to the Russians to make a communist market. Please don't ban me from the Discord server, it's a joke. Kind of. Having a flat rate of 30% tax for every single sale is a joke. Looking just from the standing point alone of tax does nothing except punish the players since quite literally our tax money does not contribute to anything, it's just numbers that are eaten by the system and deleted. If the devs insist on having tax in the game, I suggest these changes to how it is applied. For players with less than 10,000 counterfoils, they receive no tax. For players with between 10,000 and 100,000 counterfoils, they get 10% tax. For players with between 100,000 and 500,000 counterfoils, they get 20% tax, and for players with over 500,000 counterfoils, they keep the original 30% tax. This in turn will stimulate the market as players will be more likely to spend their counterfoils to decrease their tax bracket, and what better place to do this than by purchasing warehouses and items from the furniture store, the two newest additions to the crater. Side note, also remove the tax on storage rentals, it's hard enough to get bonds as it is. Another minor change I'd like to see would be the addition of armour pieces in the daily shop. Occasionally there are melee weapons, and always guns, but never armour. Come on Kefir, please. And speaking of minor changes, see what I did there? Something needs to be done about the miner. Now that he has been buffed beyond belief, he's too expensive to kill and the rewards are simply not worth it. 
you'll now use multiple armor sets and weapons to be rewarded with two guns to split between three people. It's not economical to kill the miner anymore and I implore the developers to look at the statistics for the amount of players killing him before and after these changes. I would also like to see some changes made to the loot from the crates in tournaments. Considering the investment required to win a gold tournament, you need to get some good rewards from it. I've already spoken about increasing the amount of coupons, but I also feel that increasing the amount of crates you get for first, second and third places would be beneficial. Increase first to five, second to three, and third to two, as well as increasing the drop rate of guns in these crates as well. It would also be good to change it so that once you get an item, you do not get it again until you have gotten all other items. I currently have seven combat chess pieces and none of the other parts. Some balancing required. The Crossroads, a great all-round location and a much required target for levelling your business. I would love to see plastic added here as a rare drop since the miner is now too expensive to kill and killing the devourer two dozen times a day is far from efficient or a wise use of resources. My final change is once more a simple one and it's just to remove the timer on items in your inbox. I'm aware this is a first world problem but before the update I had to give away so many armor sets, guns and other resources to my clan mates and to sell them all because their timer was running out and I had no available storage space to put anything. This then led to being short on supplies after dying a dozen times in PvP, which I've still not recovered from. Now, I'm aware there's a very slim chance in these changes being added to the game, but I implore each and every one of you watching this video to get yourself into the last day of Discord server. Go to the Crater Lounge or Language Channels and discuss these changes. Make suggestions using the equals suggest command. The more the developers see players discussing the same things, the more likely they are to consider them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the crater. Bye.